Gavin Lux is the MLB's number one prospect for the 2020 campaign. Many people think that Gavin Lux could be baseball's next big star. Being a 5 tool prospect, there are many baseball fans who are excited to find out about Gavin and what he can do in the big leagues. He was drafted in the first round of the MLB draft out of high school back in 2016. But who is Gavin Lux? Welcome back to the Embrace the Grind YouTube channel for another Who Is video. In the Who Is series, we go over the backstories of some of sports' finest up-and-coming prospects. If you like what you see, leave a like on the video, and if you really like what you see, hit that subscribe button below. Now, let's get into the video. Gavin Lux was born on November 23, 1997 in Kenosha, Wisconsin. He was born to his parents, Heather and Tom Lux Jr. His uncle, Augie Schmidt, is a former professional baseball player and currently works at Carthage College as their head baseball coach. From the beginning, Gavin was surrounded by many people who would help him grow as a baseball player. Having an uncle who coaches baseball and has played at a professional level, Gavin had some great influences on his game. Now in 2012, Gavin entered his freshman year at Indian Trail High School and Academy in his hometown of Kenosha, Wisconsin. Playing baseball his entire life, it was no surprise that Gavin really wanted to play for his high school team, and that he did. And in his senior season, Gavin would hit for an unbelievable 560 batting average. He was then ranked as one of the top 50 high school prospects, which was absolutely well deserved. He committed to attending Arizona State to play baseball at the time. He won the 2016 Wisconsin Gatorade Player of the Year Award in his senior season. He also received the Holy Rosary Sports Night Male Athlete of the Year Award in high school. Gavin was no doubt a stud, and he was definitely going to accelerate at Arizona State, right? Well, in 2016, Gavin was selected 20th overall by the Los Angeles Dodgers in the first round of the MLB draft. Gavin decided he would decommit from Arizona State, and he went into the Dodgers' far system. This was a huge deal for Gavin and his family, who together decided it was better for him to pursue his dream of playing in the MLB a few years sooner than if he went to college. And certainly did not take Gavin Lux long to make a huge impact. In 2016, for rookie class Ogden, he hit 387 with 3 doubles and 12 hits and only 31 at-bats. He also showed great plate discipline in getting 3 walks in those at-bats. He was then quickly promoted to the Dodgers of rookie class and he hit for a 281 average which was 54 hits in 192 at bats. He had 10 doubles and 5 triples. Unfortunately Gavin did not get on the home run board yet. Now he had 18 RBIs and 25 walks which showed great plate discipline and the Dodgers were very impressed. 2016 Gavin absolutely flew through those two rookie class Ogden and Dodgers. The organization recognized the great work that Gavin did and promoted him to low A Great Lakes to begin the 2017 season. 2017 did prove to be a bit of a turbulent season for Lux, as he played all 11 games in low A Great Lakes. He struggled a bit, hitting for a 244 average. He had 106 hits and 434 at bats, while finally getting his power stroke of 7 home runs. He had 8 triples and he scored 68 runs. Now Gavin is known to have great plate discipline and did with 56 walks. He did have a bit of a problem in Great Lakes as he doubled his strikeout numbers from the year before getting to a total of 88. After spending the year in the Great Lakes, the Dodgers decided it was time to move Gavin up to High A, Kakamunga, where he absolutely exceeded expectations. Now in Kukamanga, he hit for a 3 24 average, a 324 average with 116 hits and 358 at bats. He scored 64 runs and he finally found his power stroke. He smashed 11 home runs, had 7 triples, and 23 doubles. He batted in 48 runs and walked 43 times. But that wasn't the extent of his 2018 season. After seeing such a strong and consistent 2018, the Dodgers decided to move Gavin up to Double A Tulsa for the last 28 games of that season. And he excelled again. He hit for the same average, and he had 34 hits and 105 at bats. He had four doubles, one triple, and four home runs. Gavin began his 2019 campaign still at Double A Tulsa, but he wasn't going to last long there. 
He hit in 64 games, he hit for 81 hits in 259 at bats, scoring 45 runs with 13 home runs and 28 RBIs. He stole only 7 bases, but he had 28 walks, which showed a great ability to have some great discipline. Now, Gavin's plate discipline is something that his organization really saw as one of his top tools to, for the major leagues. And after being impressed with him at AA Tulsa, they decided we're going to promote him to AAA Oklahoma City. And at 49 games at AAA Oklahoma City, he hit for a 392 average. Gavin's best year in the minors was at the highest level of difficulty in AAA. Now, in those 49 games, he hit for the 392 average, acquiring 78 hits in less than 200 at bats, and he had 13 home runs once again and 39 RBIs. He walked 33 times and he cut down his strikeouts almost in half down to a 42. Now, Gavin continues to impress again and again, and his time had finally come. He was then promoted late in the Major League season to the Big League Dodgers. All his perseverance and all his hard work finally got him to the majors where he belonged. He was immediately put into the Dodgers lineup where he hit 240 in 23 games for the big club. 18 hits and 75 at bats while scoring 18 runs and hitting two home runs while driving in nine. He walked seven times and did struggle a bit with strikeouts at 24. He stole a couple of bases but he really impressed his club for this upcoming season. Gavin Lux is the number one overall prospect according to Baseball America for the 2019-2020 season. Gavin certainly shows that the more hard work you do, the better you will be. He absolutely embraced his grind and got himself to the majors. He is the number one prospect for this upcoming season. Let's hope that the MLB can get their season going and we can see what Gavin can do. If you like what you saw, please hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. Be sure to check out some of the other great videos that we have on the channel and embrace that grind.